What is up Marvel Universe community? It's Ash Rock back with another review. This is on the Marvel Universe San Diego Comic Con 2010 Spider-Man figure. There he is hanging from his web. Let's get him off this web right quick, shall we? All right, and we're back. So, uh the reason why I'm doing this particular review, obviously this is an older figure. He's a little bit of a over a year old, but I've gotten a lot of requests for him, uh, people private messaging and uh, uh, commenting saying, can you review that San Diego Comic-Con Spider-Man? And number two, he's my favorite Spider-Man up to this point in the Marvel Universe line. Um, I'll kind of explain why uh, as we go, and you'll see at the end, I'm going to have a nice little comparison of all the Spider-Mans. I bust out a ton of them to kind of give you guys an idea. Um, so this is obviously based on the Spider-Man 3 movie. Ugh! Ugh! <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, this is based on the Spider-Man 3 movie. <laughs> okay, I just I just threw up in my mouth. It's based on that shitty movie that came out after the second one. You guys know which one I'm talking about. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna divert away from this review for a second and talk about that crappy movie. When when Peter Parker started dancing in that fucking movie. Excuse my language, but when he started dancing in that movie, I swear to God, I was at the theaters, I was next to my girl, and, and with this exact voice, I was like, all right, babe, I'm ready to go. And she's like, she's like, what, what, what do you mean? I'm like, he's dancing, babe. It's time to go. She, she's like, well, the, the movie's not over. I'm like, it was over about 15 seconds ago when he started dancing. That movie was such dog shit. I mean, just as bad as X3. The, the best part of that movie was Sandman. Sandman made that movie. I think the, 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 the story he had was remarkable. I loved it. it. It brings up the ethical question of would you steal bread to feed your family? It was a remarkable story. I think it was phenomenal the way they pulled him off and the way he looked and some of the fight scenes he was in. And, you know, like he's a, he's a fugitive. And, God, I, I completely diverted away from this review. But, yeah, that movie was real dog shit and it never really existed to me. Okay? So there you go. But anyways. So... Uh, this Spider-Man. So let's start off, obviously, with paint apps. Uh, he is got a lot of detail, man. A lot. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons why he's my favorite. But you got the uh, the solid blue here. A uh, little bit of shading here and there. Not real too much shading, but there's a lot of texture there. If you could ignore this uh, 2010 logo. I hate when they put this shit right there. It's really stupid. I think they... I think they should put it on the bottom of the foot, to be honest. But anyway, so a lot of texture there, though, man. I mean, really, really well detailed um, throughout. And then uh, the red as well. I mean, the red is really, really sick looking, man. I love the way the red came out. It's got a glossy kind of finish, but it's dark. I mean, obviously, again, it's based on that movie. So it's the costume from that movie. Uh, I love the logo, the way it came out. It looks really, really sick. And... Um, the, like I said, the detail, man, you got so much texture there with the linings throughout. I mean, that's, I mean, you don't see that in any other Spider-Mans. I mean, even on his foot here, you can see how, how well detailed it is, man. They put a lot of work on this figure, you can tell. And then the face, I mean, look at that face, dude. That is really, really cool. I'm loving the face. Again, the white uh, just came out perfect, man, perfect. It looks really, really cool. So, I'm loving it. And then again, you got the logo back here. This one's red, whereas on the front it's black but uh, it makes sense having all this blue here to have it red so um, for paint applications I give them a complete five out of five uh, this thing is in my opinion just a sick looking dude I mean it just looks phenomenal the way they pulled it off is really really neat now let's talk about articulation now this is probably number two reason why or maybe actually number one really why I like this figure so much this is the first spider-man that you got that has this much articulation up to this point um, but uh, uh, you, you got the ball joint up here on the head uh, you got a you know the ball joint uh, shoulders upper bicep single jointed elbows and here's what blows my fucking mind you got the wrist articulation the pivot so a lot of you guys that have the Doctor Strange one have seen that um, but this was the first figure this one and the uh, San Diego Comic Con Captain America that came out at the same time as well. Uh, so you got the wrist articulation, which I think, man, in any Spider-Man needs to have that. I mean, you seriously, like, from now on, they have to give the Spider-Mans this articulation. It is so cool. The possibilities, you know what I mean? It just, it's really unique, and, and I love it. 
and he likes to rock and roll all night and party every day. What? I'm retarded. Okay, so then you got the upper uh, ab crunch here. There's no waist articulation. That's the only thing really missing from this figure, one of the only things. Uh, this was the first Spider-Man that gave you the upper thigh articulation with the ball joint as well. So that's really, really, really cool. Uh, double jointed knees and then the foot rotates all the way around the only thing missing from the foot I wish would have the uh, extra pivot kind of like the newer figures do like the cable and um, Some of the other uh, newer uh, figures, but uh, I think the strange one as well. So uh, the up and down is It's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. I had to kind of break it down, but it's actually really neat. So <clears throat> digging that so for articulation man uh, Based on the fact that this is a year old, I, I give it a 5 out of 5. I think they did such a kick-ass job with the articulation. And that's, like I said, one of the reasons why I got this figure. Uh, or enjoyed this figure so much. I was going to get it regardless because I'm a collecting whore, if you will. Now, uh, final score is going to be, a, uh, as you can guess, a complete 5 out of 5. This, to me, is the perfect Spider-Man. Um, again, it's based on that crappy movie. This is probably the only thing, good thing that came out of that damn movie. But... Uh, they did such a sick job, man. The folks at MU, they, they, they put in some work on this one, definitely, and you can tell it paid off, too. So the, the accurate, the, ooh, excuse me, the accurate, uh, um, accuracy in terms of uh, the way he looks and, and the way he just appears, it just, it just, they did such a good job. His foot's a little jacked up there. Let me fix that. So, yeah, now, in terms of buying him, I mean, he's going to be a bit expensive. Uh, if you find him online, you could find a used one maybe for like 10 15 bucks. New ones usually run between 30 to $50, depending. Uh, if you have the money for it, I highly, highly recommend it. I think he's a great Spider-Man. Uh, as you saw in the beginning the, the, with, the, with the posable, like coming down with the web, uh, this is the web he comes with. I'm not a big fan of gimmicky weapons like the Iron Man weapons. I usually just throw those out, you know, those little blasty things. I just leave them in the plastic and throw them in the garbage. But this one's really cool. It's got a suction cup so you could place it up on, on, a, on a, some kind of glass or a ceiling. Um, and then uh, with this thing here, uh, it wraps around. It, it does go onto his hand. It really does. But it's difficult to get on his hand. So what you have to do is you have to literally pop off the hand uh, and then kind of, you know what I mean, kind of put it in there like that and then put the hand in. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm kind of fidgety. I just had like two cups of coffee trying to freaking wake up. So well, I'll do it. Screw it. And then you just place Jesus Christ. Okay. And Shazam. So there you go. Um, and then you could like hang him off the ceilings and stuff and have him swing around like a little Spider-Man would. Um, so you got other Spider-Mans, like I said, you got the uh, Spider-Man 2099, I think is a sick, sick figure. Uh, a little more articulation than the other ones, you have the bicep and stuff like that, and the paint detail on this one's remarkable. You got the, the black suited uh, Spider-Man, uh, really, really cool Spider-Man as well. Um, you got this Spider-Man here, this one came with the uh, Green Goblin and the... Um, the Green Goblin, uh, the Target exclusive. This one's really, really cool. This one was actually my favorite until the the, the convention one came out. You got the original one. That's the original one there from the first wave. He also comes with the Spider-Man and Amazing Friends. It's basically the same figure. Then there's a dark variant to him. Then there's the number 32 in the Marvel Universe line. Uh, you got the Scarlet Spider, who's not really Spider-Man. It's Ben Riley, but he's a sick figure. And then you got the um, Iron Spider-Man. So another really, really cool and classic figure. But uh, if you're looking for a normal Spider-Man and, and you know what I mean, you want the best Spider-Man, I, again, I think this is the bad boy to go with. He is freaking sick. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, uh, comment, subscribe, and leave me uh, some feedback, all right? You guys have a good one. Peace.